I don't know what that was. Anyway, hi. I'm a lot less uh, animated than I normally am, if you can't tell. But I have a good reason, damn it. A lot of stuff's been going on in my personal life nowadays. Some stuff I'll be able to explain to you, some I won't, just for the sake of other people's privacy. You know, those people who think that their privacy is a good thing and they don't want their lives posted on the internet? <laughs> Crazy. But for the sake of my viewers who have a shorter attention span, who like to be entertained while people vlog, I'll be putting stuff on my head. To start out with, my best friend who lives out of state just left my house a couple hours ago from uh, a freaking awesome visit. Much fun was had. If you can't tell, I'm wearing toilet paper on my head. Stuff like... Paganing. I just grossly oversimplified my religion, by the way. Getting lost in the woods. Where the fuck are we? That and, uh, other stuff. But as one could imagine, every trip must have an end. Which can rightfully make one sad. I mean, when you've got a friend who lives out of state and you can't see them as often as you'd like, you get upset about it. It's the way it is. You miss that person. But on to the reason why he was here. I get to have... drum roll, please. <laughs> Surgery! Are you excited? I'm excited. Actually, I'm not excited at all. I'm very stressed out and haven't left the house in a while, to be honest, so he came over and, you know, helped me out, which I really, really fucking appreciate. <laughs> but he being a normal person, he has college and stuff to go to, and I have a week more to wait for said surgery. And so I have a week to wait with nothing to do at all but sit and think about getting cut up. And at least one of you is thinking, bullshit, you've got something that you could do to fill the time other than talk to a camera alone in your house. By the way, I have Daniel Radcliffe on my head. But honestly, I really don't. I can't go to college because I'm not enrolled in college because I can't pay for it, and I can't go to my job because no one's hiring me. And you know, I've been trying to keep my mind off of it, reading, watching TV, trying to exercise, talking to best friend online and whatnot, but the hospital keeps calling me about it. I mean, the hospital has called me at least three times since I scheduled my appointment, asking me the same questions over and over again. What's your name? How old are you? What's your social security number? It is maddening. I mean, seriously, do you have to call me about everything five times? You have it on record. You don't need to tell me about the surgery. I know what's going to happen. You're going to cut me open, take everything out, and then sew me back up. And then I'll be empty. And that'll be it. I mean, I'm convinced that the medical system is just filled with sadists trying to make sure that my every waking moment is filled with discomfort until they finally get to cut my ass open and take out what they need to take out. No, my ass is not really getting surgified. Yes, I said the word surgified. In any case, that is one of the many things, well, two of the many things that have been going on in my life recently that have made me this angry, yet depressed, and subdued pile of do-nothing me. It is really hard to balance this flashlight on my head. Anyway, that's an update on my life at this point. Um, ah! <laughs> More videos coming soon once I recover from surgery and go down and see a friend of mine afterwards cause I'ma need some serious comforting once I have me sliced open. Blech. I just want to show you guys that my cat is intently watching a show about Hitler right now. She's curled up in the covers and looking at the TV. Mmm. She loves her some Hitler. Hitler cat! Hitler cat! <laughs>